July 9, 2011, media mogul Rupert Murdoch was testifying at the House of Commons when he was attacked by Jonathan May Bowles. Well, attacked, he was pied. We all saw the video and Murdoch's wife Wendy spiking the assailant, putting her volleyball training to use. May Bowles got four weeks in the slammer and his 15 minutes of fame. But how did he do in his attack? We went to the expert on these matters, America's original pie man, Aaron Kay, with whom we caught up in New York's Tompkins Square Park. I say Murdoch had a dire need for a pie. His attitude, his the fact that he's a media maggot, his right-wing politics make him a good candidate for a pie. Kay's long list of victims is what makes him an expert in pieing. William Buckley, Senator Pat Moynihan, Watergate bungler, E. Howard Hunt, Phyllis Schlafly, who messed up the Equal Rights Amendment, uh, a, a Quentin Kopp, who is a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, A. Beam, who is the ex-mayor of New York, G. Gordon Liddy, William Colby, Steve Rubell, Studio 54, Jerry Brown, McGeorge Bundy, Edward Teller. Last one was Randall Terry, Operation Rescue. called an assassination without a bullet. Think of the Three Stooges, Max Stanton and the Keystone Cops, ridiculing your subjects, breaking down their ego. As a rule, parties bore me, but I know I'm going to get a big bang out of this one. <laughs> oh. oh, Senator, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How did the guy with, with uh, Murdoch do? How, how was his find? Did he do okay or did he mess it up? Or? He messed up. He should have had his own reporter, his own media person to get a better picture. I always tell people you're going to do a throw, bring your own media person. Then they can sell the picture to the media. There are a lot of people who are in dire need of a pie. Remember to let a thousand pies fly. Mm -hmm.